Hey everyone, Ken and Profit here. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to use Blender to do some force levitation effects. And we're gonna do it in less than six minutes. All right, so open up Blender. Step one, load in a 3D model. This can be a chair, a coin, bag of money, whatever you need to fit your VFX shot. I, of course, am gonna use a lightsaber. I've got this Kylo Ren model that you can download from my website or from my Patreon page if you're a member of my Patreon. The point is, get a 3D model, something that'll fit your scene. Step two, load in your video footage. With your camera selected, come over to the right hand panel and underneath background images, add in your movie clip. Since this is a locked off shot, it makes things really easy. We don't have to do any sort of camera tracking. We can just use the clip right there in the 3D viewport. Step three, keyframe animation. Using R to rotate, S to scale, we can press I to set a keyframe, or to use the pro method, just enable automatic keyframes by clicking this button. Now it's just a matter of moving around your object so that it roughly follows your hand and whatever you're doing in your scene. I mentioned I'm using the rigged version of this lightsaber, so I'm able to add my animation necessary for my gag as well. Your animation might look a little floaty and choppy, and that's okay because step four, we're gonna add some noise. <laughs> All right, split this window down here and set it to the graph editor. Select both of these animation curves right here and come over here to your modifiers panel. Add a modifier and select noise. Now this looks kind of like a weird demon scream effect. You might wanna dial down the scale and the strength to get something that looks a little more uh, Jedi-y. This of course is totally to taste depending on your footage. All right, we're on to step five, light the model to match the scene. I'm gonna use point lights because they're just really easy to work with. And I'm gonna roughly map out the placement and color and strength of the lights that are in my footage. So I'm gonna put a point light here where my desk lamp is and try to match the color as best I can and crank up the brightness. Pressing Z, we can go to rendered mode and make sure you are using cycles. It'll just make everything look a little better. And now we can start adjusting our lights to fit our scene and we can get real-time feedback. That looks pretty good. You're gonna to wanna to make sure if there's any colored lights in your scene that you mimic that in the 3D space. This is really what sells the effect of levitating an actual object is matching the light of your footage. I have a window in the room where I shot this, so I added a big area light to kind of mimic the sunlight coming in from the window. Finally, I added an area light over top to mimic bounce light coming from the ceiling. Once all your lights are in place, it's time for step six, rendering and compositing. Come up to render, render an image, send it, it looks good. Now jump into the compositor, make sure you check use nodes, and we've got a render layer here. Press shift A and add in a movie clip. Your footage should be loaded in, and I've of course arranged my compositor to look like this. You can set yours up however you like. Shift A, add in an alpha over node and make sure your footage is on top and your render layer on the bottom. If you control shift click on the alpha over, you'll be able to view it. And you'll notice the lightsaber is very clean, whereas the footage has some noise. So let's add some really quick and dirty noise by adding a lens distortion node and checking jitter. You'll notice though that by doing that, our opaque background disappears. So we need to take this alpha mask from our render layer and plug it into the factor of that alpha over node. And now we should have our effect with a little bit of noise. And you also wanna blur this slightly for good measure, just so it sits in your footage a little bit more. You can't forget about shadows. You can of course render a 3D shadow, which would be more accurate. But why do that when you can do a quick and cheap shadow in the compositor? I'm gonna press Shift A, add in a mix node and set it to multiply. I'll set that bottom color to black and we can turn the factor up or down and let's take the alpha from our render layer directly into the factor of that mix node. Now we can add a transform node and this will allow us to scale, rotate, and move that fake shadow around wherever we want to. Once you like the position, make sure you add in a blur node to blur the heck out of it to get that nice fake shadow on there. You'll of course want a way to adjust this. So we can do that by duplicating this mix node. The bottom is already set to black and that will allow us to slide around this factor slider and get a nice shadow effect, just like that. And there you go. That's how to levitate objects in Blender. Really, really easy. Hopefully you can see that you can easily add any 3D object to your scene as long as you match the lighting, add a little bit of noise, 
things will look great. If you'd like to download my blend file and see how I did the masking for the lightsaber through the head, head on over to my Patreon and you can download that there. Thank you to all the Patreon members who have signed up. I really appreciate it. And thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.